Hi everyone, it's Miss Champagne. Okay, let us continue. Today I am teaching from the book, my workbook. This is my workbook called How to Transition from Your Current Job to Your Teaching Job. And this is the corresponding workbook to my book, which is simply titled Transition from Your Current Job to Your Teaching Job. Okay, let us continue from chapter five. And chapter five is called The Interview Process, The Pre-Interview. Okay, all right, now I have some uh, warm-up questions we're gonna go through in the workbook. Number one, what do you think is the best way to apply for a job? Since you, should you simply apply to the job or do you want to call to introduce yourself first? Okay, which process do you prefer? A direct recruitment process or an indirect recruitment process? All right, now, if I were to answer these questions, number two, like I, like I said in the previous video, um, when I'm doing business in Africa, you can read about this in my book, Three Business Strategies to Get Contracts and Make Profits. In Africa, you go, you do, you done. I always use a direct approach. I never use an indirect approach. Um, I always use a direct approach. I never use an indirect approach um, unless somebody refers me. Um, and the reason being is that I find that in the African market, if you do an indirect approach, um, I find that it takes too long. I find that the person that you're introduced to really kind of gives you the runaround, which is what I think we want to avoid here. So this is why I uh, prefer the direct approach because you will know if you, what you want is going to happen. If you use indirect, you don't know, and it, it takes a lot longer for you to receive confirmation yes or, or a negative no. All right, now, what's the difference between a direct recruitment process and an indirect recruitment process? Well, the difference is that um, when you do direct, um, I, you know, I really break it down in this workbook, um, it means that you research it yourself. Um, and you can either Google like jobs in Rwanda, jobs in Japan, jobs in Ghana, or you can type the type of um, job that you want, a uh, teaching job, and like the location, and then you Google will find you know um, schools that match up to your search. Then you call those schools directly. So either one is okay, um, but I would prefer you do that than, oh, my friend knows about a job here. I just find that to just not be very productive in terms of getting jobs in the African market, okay? Now, uh, Let's see. Okay, let's talk about uh, step four, um, which is when you decide the recruitment uh, process that you want to use. If you want to use the indirect, I mean, that's not the worst thing, but my point is here is that you need to use a tracking sheet. And the tracking sheet that I wrote is in appendix, is in the appendix, and just a moment. Yes, it's Appendix A in the back of the book, okay? So you wanna make sure whenever you're tracking any job, and this is not just a teaching job, that you're able to, you know, to type the name of the job, the person you talked to, what they wanted, what they say, so that when you do get an interview request, and you will, you need to know what you talked about in that interview, okay? Or what you talked about in the email, okay? They will really appreciate that, okay? And um, you also, I have another question here. It's like, do you want to use direct or do you want to use indirect? So if you have any questions about that, please inbox me and then I can help you decide which process is better for you. Like I said, I prefer direct, but not everyone is as aggressive as I am and ganky. Um, so anyways, if you guys have any questions, please inbox me and I will see you soon. Bye.